So here we have it, the bike's off the rack. And uh, what I want to do is just run through a few things that you might want to know about Brooks Saddle. So here we go. Here's the, the famous Brooks logo, made in England logo. logo. This is a champion flyer. Um, so you can see here the leather, I've got a black leather one here, but the quality of the leather is excellent. I wax this probably once every few months. I've got some Brooks wax. I'll show the tin in a minute. But so some of the key points here, you can see it's got some fixing brackets here for the saddle bags. So of course, Brooks do a range of their own saddle bags that are uh, usually leather. And you've got these suspension springs here. At first I debated whether I needed this, but this was on a touring bike, so I wasn't really too worried about the weight. It is hefty, it's about 1.5 kilos, but uh, at least for touring it makes a difference. I'm not sure on a commuter uh, whether I would have the one with springs, and I'm thinking about getting one for my Brompton, the B17, So, but uh, I probably wouldn't get a brook saddle with springs for the Brompton. Uh, the weight would be too much. So again, you can see the fittings fix onto a standard post very well. For the Brompton, you do need an extra bracket. I'll tell you more about that. If I ever get one, I'll film that. But you can see, and there's a couple of struts here that run up the side internally of the saddle. So it's supported very well. And I don't know whether you can make this out, but uh, you can ad actually adjust the tension of the sh seat and adjust the tension of the leather. So over time, of course, the leather's flexible and can sag, but uh, with that, you can keep it tight. I think you can see on this one, you, um, uh, it does flare out a bit, which is fine for me, but you might want to over time tighten this up a little. So what else can I say? This is made of leather, so... Um, uh, you do have to look after it. So um, what I mean by that, I, I wouldn't leave it out in torrential rain for weeks on end. You, you know, you really do have to look after the leather a little bit. I haven't looked after this as much as I should, but it's held up very well. Um, some other points about it, it's got, you can see three little vent holes here that are, yeah, just aid ventilation for you. And there are these studs in here, which are, are fixings really for the under support. Uh, there. So again, they're a bit worn here, but they're holding together. So this seat's probably uh, seven years old now, and it's held up well. With a few things in life, you can tell the quality of the seat. It's the same as the Brompton bikes itself, or you could argue an Apple iPhone, or even a Volkswagen uh, camper van. They've got that heritage, uh, they've got that quality feel about them. So some people really swear by their brick saddles, and other people say uh, they're not worth the money. For me personally, on this touring bike, it's been brilliant. Uh, it really has molded uh, to me. And I do notice if I go for longer distances with a, a regular saddle, it hurts more. You get saddle sore more than I do on this. So for me, it's been a great buy. Uh, would I do it again? Uh, <sighs> I'm in the middle of debating whether I should get one of these for my Brompton, uh, and I think I will. So when I've worn down the seat on my Brompton, I think I really will uh, invest in a Brook saddle. So it's voiceover time. I better take this for a quick ride. So every time I do come back to this bike and the Brooks saddle, I do notice the difference. So even here on the sort of semi-bumpy grass, it does take the, uh, the edge off. That's after you've broken it in, of course. So that 25 second cycle was thirsty work. I better get some refreshment. So there we have it. I hope that was useful. I hope you got something out of this. Whether it helped you to get a, a Brooks or decide to get a Brooks or not, I don't know. But for, personally, on a touring bike, going long distances, it's been fantastic. And for my Brompton, where my old one does wear out, yes, I think I will invest in a Brooks. Simply because they're comfortable, they are quality, and the aesthetic, they look good. So. Those three things combined make it a pretty convincing buy for me. And you could argue that, you know, a hundred odd pounds is a lot, but for something that lasts 
you know, 10 years or more, um, I think that's quite a good deal. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Bikeonomic video. Uh, do press the subscribe button and of course, watch out for the next one. So those of you who are interested, I've just stuck a few pictures at the end here, a bit of film uh, with a bit more detail on the Brooks saddles for those that are interested. So Brooks take great pride that they've been running since 1866. And uh, at least they claim on their website that uh, the saddles are still handmade. So uh, that's something that some people might find important. So there's the, again, the famous Brooks logo. It's all those attention to details that make the saddle stand out, I think, and why people, or they're so popular with people. So I got the flyer version here with the suspension springs, and they really did help on the touring bike because I go over some rougher ground, and I've definitely noticed compared to a normal saddle that that helped. Um, for, if I bought this again for a commuter bike and for my Brompton, I will buy the B17, which has got a similar design but without the suspension springs. But as this is leather, it does mould over time to your physiology, I suppose. So um, it takes a little while, but when you get there, uh, that's really why some people rate them so highly, because uh, they're comfortable. So at the time of filming this, this is the current price from a UK website called Wiggle, just under £100, so well worth it in my opinion. And uh, I suppose if I was going to grade the saddle, I would grade it an A. And I think the reason is, again, it's one of those very few things you buy that has uh, is bigger than the component of its parts. It's got some kind of uh, ethereal quality to it. Uh, again, this X factor thing that some quality items have. So yes, I would buy it again. And I don't think many people would complain with getting uh, a Brooks saddle. Uh, you can do worse things in life. So I hope that helped. See you in the next video.